we're going to start off this unit by firstly looking at what is a transaction. Now, the syllabus gives quite a broad definition of what a transaction is, in that it's a series of events important to an organisation that involve a request, an acknowledgement, an action and an outcome. Now, most transactions will revolve around the trade of goods and services in exchange for money. The TPS's Transaction Processing Systems collect, store, modify and retrieve transactions for an organisation, so they enable us to do transactions. Okay? Traditionally, money was paid in physical form, and you'd have to go to the bank, take out physical money from the bank, and then you could go to the shops and spend that money. Now, with transaction processing systems, we can get use our credit cards, or we can just type in numbers in internet banking, and it will automatically subtract money straight from my bank in order to pay for goods from a website. So TPSs have really made the selling and shopping experience a whole lot easier. But now, let's try to line up a TPS specifically with what this syllabus definition is saying. So firstly, we have our request. And in this request, we're gonna have a customer requesting for $100. So I need $100. They will do this via a collecting device, such as an ATM, FPOS, point of sales terminal, or if they're using internet banking, it may be through their PC or mobile device. This request needs to be acknowledged, and the TPS will basically say back to the customer, you need $100, right? Okay, it will then align this with the customer's account in some way, which is done through organizing and analyzing of a database management system, which is linked through server software. We then have the action, once confirmation is made, the action is basically $100 is transacted from the customer's bank account to the customer. Okay, here this is done through processing, okay, using the CPU, and it can be done in batch or real time, okay, depending on how the customer is going about this. The two types of processings of a transaction processing system. Now, while all of this has been taking place between the request, the acknowledgement, and the action, okay, there has been transmitting and receiving occurring through wireless and wired media depending on what type of system they are using. Finally is the outcome, and that's basically the customer receives their $100. That's what we've been trying to do the whole time. They get their money, okay? This needs to be updated on the server and the customer's account, so they'll be storing and retrieving. This gets saved, okay? And obviously the customer also needs to see confirmation, which will come through a displaying device such as the ATM, FPOS, point of sales terminal, PC or mobile device. So I hope this gives you a better understanding of what the syllabus definition means in relation to a transaction. It involves a request, so a customer making a request for something, an acknowledgement by the system saying, reiterating what the request was, the system carrying out the action of the transaction, and then the outcome being achieved of the customer getting what they initially requested. All right, okay, I hope that was helpful.